Welcome to our channel. Today, we will learn about transistors, which are considered one of the greatest inventions to date. To give you an idea of their size, the microprocessor in your computer or mobile phone contains millions, even billions of transistors. Although medium-sized transistors are typically used in electronic circuits. A transistor is a three-terminal solid-state device. It is used as a signal amplifier or electronic switch. Transistors have two basic types, bipolar junction transistor, BJT, and metal oxide field effect transistor, MOSFET. In this video, we will only discuss BJT as it is relatively easier to understand. BJT, or bipolar junction transistor, has two types, NPN and PNP. Both NPN and PNP transistors have a circuit symbol like this. These are the collector C, base B, and emitter E terminals. Both symbols look almost the same, but the main difference is the direction of the arrow at the emitter terminal. In NPN, it points outward, while in PNP, it points inward. In an NPN transistor, a P-type semiconductor is sandwiched between two N-type semiconductors, while in a PNP transistor, two P-type semiconductors are sandwiched between N-type semiconductors. In an NPN transistor, current flows from the collector terminal to the emitter terminal, while in a PNP transistor, it flows from the emitter terminal to the collector terminal. Transistors can be used either as switches or amplifiers. They can switch at high frequencies, making them useful components in electronic circuits. A switch is used to turn electric devices on or off. This is not a new concept. Transistors can work as electronic switches. Switching occurs between the collector and emitter terminals. In the normal state, the resistance between the collector and emitter is high, so no current flows, and the transistor acts like a closed switch. When a voltage greater than 0.7 volts is applied to the base of an NPN transistor, the resistance between the collector and emitter becomes zero, and the transistor operates as an on switch. This switching action is controlled by an electric signal at the base terminal. Transistors do not have any moving parts like mechanical switches, so they are called solid-state switches. Additionally, they can switch at high frequencies, meaning they can turn on and off millions of times per second. Now let's focus on a simple example using a transistor, such as making a rain detector using a transistor. We'll use two different conductor plates to create a rain sensor. In dry conditions, no current flows, so the transistor remains in the off state. When drops of water fall on our sensor, the slight current flow due to moisture is enough to increase the base terminal voltage by 0.7 volts, causing the transistor to turn on and the buzzer to start sounding. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.